All right, Lauren, so I think the next step is really just understanding, give us your advice on how you drive this device. All right, so I've already topicalized the patient with some lidocaine. And then while that's kind of sitting, we're getting the scope set up. And I think an important part of doing that is just familiarizing yourself with the scope because there are different scopes and different people have different techniques that they feel most comfortable with. So for example, it's important to know, for, this, for example, this is finger driving. So I'm here. And when I move it up and down, I know which direction it's going to be going in. All right. Alternatively, you could thumb drive, which some people are more comfortable with. And I'm just checking that when I move my thumb in one direction or the other, that way I know which way it's going to go when it's inside of the nose or inside of the throat. Um, I think that's an important first step before scoping the patient. And what do you like to use? What technique do you use? It depends. In this particular circumstance, I'm going to do the thumb drive. Thumb drive. Yeah. yeah, I think most of us in the ER are comfortable with the thumb drive and less, less comfortable with the finger drive. Makes sense. All right. So then next, you know, we, I feel comfortable with the way I'm holding the scope. I know which way the lever is going to go. That's going to make it go up and down. Next, I'm going to go ahead and look in the nostrils, each nostril, and see which side has more space. So. I'm going to go ahead and start by looking in the right nostril. All right. And on the left of the screen, you can see the inferior turbinate. And on the right of the screen, you can see the septum. And a little bit beyond that, you see the middle turbinate. All right. Seeing the middle turbinate is a pretty good landmark um, because that lets you know that there aren't any major obstructions between you and there. All right. And then this is the left nostril. So on the left side of the screen is the septum again. And you can already see there's a spur down there at the bottom. On the right, you have your inferior turbinate again. And you also see another spur here that's blocking my view of the middle turbinate. So I'm going to go on the right side because this side is a bit obstructed. All right, important point. So there, there you saw that dark opening on the right side. And that's dark is your friend, right? You yes. want to move in that direction, correct? correct? And if you don't see that, if you just see uh, just a lot of obstruction, then you're going to try to use the side that has the dark patch. Correct. And then uh, what happens if you see just a lot of pink? If you see a lot of pink at any point in the exam and you haven't already, and you've already started, then just go ahead and pull the scope backwards until you see black, which indicates the airway, and uh, you can reorient yourself. Got it. Okay. Mm -hmm. So for a rule, we're going to go on the right side. We're going to go on side. the right nostril. All right. All right, Raul. So I'm just going to gently insert the scope into the nostril, and then next I'm just going to change my position. This is a personal preference. I'm heading towards that middle turbinate, trying not to touch the septum. The septum is exquisitely tender and sensitive to pain. To the left, this opening here is the eustachian tube. You don't want to take that. That goes to the ear. Straight ahead is the adenoid pad. So what I want to do is I want to go down around the soft palate. Go, say, go ahead and say, mmm. Mm. Just hum and relax. Well, and Raul, well, you can't really tell as much. But in this case, um, in, in other patients, it opens up the soft palate a little bit. Um, if you're having any difficulty there. So go ahead and stick out your tongue. This is the base of tongue. Put your tongue back in. All right. And now I want you to stick out your chin like you're sniffing a flower. A little bit more. Good. This is the sniffing position, and this opens up the larynx. You can see the vocal cords really nicely. You can see the airway really nicely, that black V there. And I'm not going to go any further. I'm going to go ahead and come out, making sure first that the lever is in the neutral position so that the scope is straight and I'm just going to come out slowly. 